generosity. Somebody say generosity. generosity. Not everybody says, let me try one more time. Yeah, if you're in the back counting money, say generosity. generosity. Ah, let, me give you a let me give you the definition of generosity. It means showing a readiness to give more of something. Oh, God, help me preach this. And, and, and it's me giving me you don't expect it. See, some of y'all ain't me. See, see, see. The some of us are generous until it's time for somebody to be generous back to us. In other words, some of us don't be generous until somebody giving us something. You shout when somebody giving you something. But you frown when the pastor asks for pastoral offering. I wish I had somebody else with me. In the book of Malachi, in the book of Malachi, uh, there's a concept of time. And, 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 but, but in Malachi's time, Mr. Devin, the people were disobedient. The people cowed. They, they didn't like to drive the Cadillacs. They didn't like to live in their houses. And, 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 but, but, but they were disobedient when it came to get it. In other words, they were neglecting their covenant relationship with God. When you hold back on God, you're neglecting your relationship with God. I had somebody. When you hold God's money, oh God, now listen to this. Brother, he don't mean I want your whole paycheck. These people, they were half-hearted people. They, they, they were stuck in their ways. It, it, it almost reminds us of the day we stuck in our own ways. If I don't have the watch. If I don't have the iPad, if I don't have the latest phone, I wish I had somebody helping me. This is my money, Pastor. I can spend the way I want to. Come, Come on. But the prophet said, y'all are robbing God. I'm just the prophet telling you, some of y'all are robbing God. Some of y'all sitting at home watching on the internet, y'all are robbing God. I wish I had somebody helping me. Listen, listen. They were some half committed people. Sister, I'm glad you're here with me because I've got some committed people, but I've got some half committed people here too. They come sometime and none of the time they don't come. I wish I had some. Listen, listen, listen. In, in Malachi, there were some part time nuts. Y'all ain't helping me. Y'all ain't have some of that part time nuts. Don't, don't look on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. They were a part time nuts. Come to church sometime. Come to church when they feel like it. I wish I had somebody helping me. Uh, it's just a rough thing with what Jesus said in lukewarm. Uh, help me, Holy Ghost. In other words, they ain't hot and they ain't cold. Some of y'all sit here, y'all ain't hot and y'all ain't cold. Uh, I touch somebody and say, don't be lukewarm. Oh, listen to that picture. And, and his old brother Kyle said, y'all are robbing me. Now I understand this, I understand this. Tithing is, is, is an allegiance to God. Uh, in Genesis 19 and 20, it says, Blessed be Abraham, 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 the God of Most High, the possessor of the hidden earth. You have to understand something. The tithing was connected to faith. Mm -hmm. Abraham, and not only Abraham, but Jacob also. When you read Jacob, our brother down in Genesis 28, when, when, when Jacob got blessed, when he left his brother, he was fleeing from his brother, he got down in Bethel and all that stuff, and he made a pillar and all that stuff. Go read it when you get some time. And, and he said, he said, he said, it's surely as the Lord blessed me, I'm gonna give you a tenth of it. You, you know what I did Friday you have to know what happened. As surely as the Lord blessed me, I'm gonna wrap this check for $300. I wish I had somebody. Y'all ain't getting your hand. See, see, see. That means I'm showing loyalty to God. Because I know where my help comes from. See, some of y'all need to understand. Baby, listen, God ain't got you, listen. God ain't blessing you to just keep it for yourself. Because I realize everything I have, brother, it belongs to God. I realize good part of mine. Every shoe I wear is because of God. this morning is everything we have comes from God. But in this 21st century, well, it's me, me, and 
denying me, Lord, have mercy on me. We're so caught up into material things. We're so caught up with my stuff and my apple pie and my apple watch. Well, y'all ain't helping me. We're so caught up in fixing my house up. I'll go bad in Listen, and all the while they were neglecting God's house. And then, kids, you didn't have to
no matter how unfaithful they were. God said, I'm going to show you how faithful I'm going to be. He said, bring all the time into the spouse. That they'll be made in my house. He said, try me.
You have to take a seat for me. Now, now listen to me. In this context, he said, I'll destroy the locals. I'll devour the crush. Now, tithing is not mentioned in the New Testament. But I can tell you, now there is the testing of God financially. And nor do we see what God rebukes to the devour. Now get this real, it's real good now. Now listen to me. You have to learn what they call a budget. Somebody say budget. Can I teach you a minute? You, you, you cannot get a car payment for five thousand dollars when you ain't making but thousand. And then you come to church talking about rebuke the devil because trying to come get my car. No, 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 no. Y'all ain't with me. Uh -huh. This middle, I'm almost finished. Yeah. She had a count. 
I would in no wise cast you. I hear Jesus saying, come unto me all ye that are labor and are heavy laden. I'll give you rest. Is there one this morning? It says, here I am. Is there one for prayer this morning that you've been saying no to Lord, but now you want to say yes to Jesus? Will you just come on down now and let's have prayer together? All of us want to be down here because all of us have said no. But God has said, come now. Come. 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 I want to live in Jesus. I say yes to him. 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 Come. Y'all come a little closer for me. I feel the Lord all over me this morning. Come a little closer to me. Say yes to the Lord. Say yes to the Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, sir. That's all he wants, y'all. Completely. Completely. Gracious God, we stand before you knowing that thou art the power and we're just clean. We're just down here broken. Lord, we, we recognize our sinfulness. We recognize, God, that we have not said yes to the thing we said should say yes to. But Lord God, because you're such an awesome God, God, because you're so gracious to us, God, we come to them today to ask you to first of all, please forgive us. Forgive us for the times that we should have said yes and we said no. Forgive us for the times, dear God, that we should have been right and we went left. Thank you, God. Because Lord, you're so 
so good to us. Thank you, God.